Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you basic functions inside Dynamo. And I'm going to start from move to copy, which we also call here translate. So in order to make a very basic geometry or shapes in Dynamo, such as circle, we can go ahead and create or write here circle. And the basic one, the basic type of circles here is a circle point radius. And if you notice, when you drop that node, it immediately creates the circle that we need here inside the original point. So if I zoom in to it, that's my basic geometry, which actually required a center point, which is by default 0, 0, 0, and a radius, which is also by default 1. So in order to make a basic move function, we need to create a point to attach to this geometry. And in this case, you can just trace that backward. So see what's the input required. I'm not gonna. I'm not really interested in changing the radius. So basically, in order to move that, I need a point to be controlling the location of the center of that geometry. So I'm gonna add here a point, and a basic point by coordinate will do the job. So I'm gonna connect this to that, and now I can see that the circle is connected by its center to this point now basically i can control this point by a slider slider and i'm gonna go with an integer slider at 10 maybe enough and then you can change the name into xyz if you like and then go ahead and connect those into their corresponding location. So again, I'm going to copy this and paste it twice. Rename the whole thing into X, Y, and Z. Now let's connect them. Now that's a very basic function to move so this is represent move now i can move the geometry that depend on its center by controlling it by point which we can control its main inputs as an x and y and z as you can see so that's a really basic way to deal with moving objects inside dynamo now for clone or copy, we here in Dynamo, we have a different name for it. It's called Translate. And when you write that down here, you're going to find a Translate Geometry or a Coordinate or here as an action. I can go here and open those three types. So basically this one and this one are the same almost uh, this need a geometry and a direction and the distance is almost the same so I'm gonna get rid of this as it's much more simpler and get this with more details so basically we have two types the easiest type is this it needs a geometry yeah and it's also need X Y and Z so all you gotta do is to connect the circle here and then we can just copy paste those to it as you can see now if we connect those into X Y and Z now we're gonna have our copy of that see so I can simply move it or copy it in X or X and Y and also in Z or Z so that's really the first and the basic easiest way to make a copy or translate in Dynamo which is required X Y and Z translation coordinate values the other method is actually in need of a geometry direction and distance 
let's try it. So I can connect this circle to the geometry, which is the first entry. Now it needs a direction, which is if you hover above, it's gonna tell you it needs a vector and then it needs a distance. That can be easily arranged. So if I go here and let's assume that I want to copy this circle into the Z axis. So just write here Z A. That's a, a vector here. And as you can see, it has just an output. So connect this vector to the direction. And now we simply need a distance. So you can take a number or a code or even a slider and then connect it to the distance. And now, simply, you can increase that and you can see that it's been pushed by the Z direction this circle which is a copy of that origin by that amount of the distance as you can see those are the main two famous types of copying or translation that you can find here in dynamo and also we explain the basic moving techniques here by defining a point and this point control the center of the geometry I wish that you find this tutorial useful. Thank you very much and have a good day.